Naomi, welcome to your yoga beams week two of our four week split challenge. So we're going to do a few more exercises today. So to begin with, we're going to come down onto our knees and then we're going to lift our right leg forward. Just check that your knee doesn't go in front of your ankle. You don't want that. You just want it level or slightly behind your ankle. You're going to bring your hands to the floor and you're going to go back like this. As you go back, you're going to feel a really big stretch under here. So as you breathe in, go forward. As you breathe out, come back. And as you breathe out, you'll be able to feel that you'll get deeper into the stretch. So breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. So toes pointing towards the ceiling, that gets a deeper stretch. All right, let's have a go on the other side. So swapping legs, now you're on your left side, knee above the ankle or just behind, but never in front of the foot. Okay, hands on the floor. Breathe in. Breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. One more, breathing in and breathing out. The next one we're going to do is we're going to lie down on our back. You're going to take your right leg and bring it up. You're going to try and get your legs straight. Now for some people, it, you might be down there. You might be able to get it a bit further. What you're trying to do is trying to bring your leg towards your chest. You can hold onto your foot if you want to, or you can hold onto your calf or onto your thigh, whatever is most comfortable for you. So every time you exhale, that's when you want to get a deeper stretch so you can just let your foot come down, your leg come down further. So we're just gonna take a few breaths in this position, whether you're holding it here or even here. You need to feel the stretch, that's what we're after. So breathing in and out through your nose nice and slowly. And as you breathe out is when you can slowly get a bit of a deeper stretch. So breathing in and out nice and slowly. A couple more breaths. If your leg starts to quiver, that's your muscles working really hard and that's fine. Just make sure you're listening to your body and it's not painful, but you want to be able to feel the stretch. And we bend that leg and bring that one down. So now we're going to do the alternate leg. So the left leg, you're going to straighten your leg if you can. You just want to do it so you can feel a really good stretch all the way down the back of your leg. So you can hold onto your thigh and pull it towards you, hold onto your calf, or you can hold onto your foot. Now if you're holding onto your foot, try not to let your leg flop out to the side. You want it to be directly in front of you. That's where you can feel the biggest stretch. So breathing in and out through your nose nice and slowly. Remember as you breathe out, that's when you can get the leg lower towards your chest. Breathing in and out through your nose, nice and slowly. Don't worry if your muscles start to quiver. Again, that's because they're working really hard. It's important that you don't feel pain. You just feel your muscles stretching. Breathing nice and slowly, listening to your body. As you breathe out, allowing your leg to come closer to your chest. Trying to keep your leg straight. You let go, bend your leg and put your leg back down. Okay, so the next one that we're going to do is you're going to lift your leg up. Doesn't matter left or right leg, we're going to do them both. You're going to see if you can hold onto your foot. If you can hold onto your foot and that's comfortable, you're trying to get your knee towards your armpit or if you're really flexible, you might be able to get it towards the floor. So what you're going to do is gently pull of pushing your leg down towards the floor. So your knee is going towards the floor. 
or in towards your elbow. Now, if this is a bit too much for you, you might just want to start by pulling your knee towards your chest. If that's okay and you're fine with that, comfortable with that, you're going to lift your leg up, your foot holding onto the sole of your foot, and you're then going to bring your knee towards your elbow or towards the floor, breathing in and out through your nose, listening to your body, just making sure that you can feel a really good stretch. It opens up your hips, stretches your muscles, increases flexibility, which is perfect for when you're doing the splits. Remember, as you exhale, you might be able to bring your foot further down. You can hold on it with one hand or, or two, whatever you're comfortable with. And you're going to let go and bring your leg back down. So now we're going to do the opposite leg. So you bring, if you want to, you can just bring your knee into your chest and hold it there if you feel that's a big enough stretch for you because you're listening to your body. Or you can bring your foot up towards the ceiling, keeping your leg bent. You're going to bring your knee towards your armpit. Or if you want to get it further, you're going to get it towards the floor. So you're breathing in and out through your nose, nice and slowly, foot pointing towards the ceiling. You can hold on to it with one hand if you want to, or two, it's up to you. Then you're trying to get your knee towards your armpit, elbow bent, breathing in and out through your nose, listening to your body, Make sure you, you don't feel pain, but you can feel a good stretch. And doing these exercises this week, if you can do it every day, will really help you on your road to achieving the splits. And if you have time, you could even do week one as well. Depends how much time you've got. And you're slowly going to bring your leg down and sitting up. Okay, so that's the three exercises for this week. Have fun and I look forward to seeing you in week three. Bye for now.